This demonstration quickly shows some possibilities to uh, export surface information from Terra applications. So I have here a point cloud loaded in Terras TerraScan and I have visualized here uh, ground points of that point cloud. Then in this other view I have a surface model created to Terra Modeler from key points of this ground class. So there is uh, in both TerraScan and Terra Modeler some options to export this information to other software or to be used in these products itself. So if we start from Terascan quickly, uh, here in output we have export lattice model or export raster image options. And this lattice model option is more for, for uh, analysis purposes and this raster image is more like a visualization type of export option. So if we quickly have a look at this lattice model export uh, we have different options how uh, or what creates the elevation triangulated model is recommended because then you can interpolate the value to those places where uh, there are points missing. For example, here there are some buildings in this area. So when we choose triangulated model to the export option, uh, even though we have smaller grid spacing than this uh, building, we can fill the area with this max triangle value being uh, higher than this um, building size. For demonstration I will now uh, export this GeoTIFF uh, model. If I was working with uh, projects so that I would have multiple laser blocks, I could do the same export through uh, project dialog. So here when I have my project open and here the list of uh, different uh, laser blocks through tools I can go to export lattice model and when I have defined the area which I'm uh, or uh, the extents for each individual lattice model I can go to tools and export lattice model using that extent and here we have again the same same option, uh, same options as in the earlier dialog, but now if we have multiple of these extents, we can select to either uh, put a name manually for each of those extents, or we could select text elements together with these uh, extent elements, and those text elements would then denote the uh, name for each individual tile. Then those same similar kind of options are also available in Terra Modeler. And with Terra Modeler you get uh, better uh, control on what kind of surface you are exporting. So here uh, you just use those points and you do not do not see uh, before the export what kind of uh, 
lattice file or what is the actual surface information. So here we have those uh, empty areas from these places where, do, where we do not have points. But here when we have created the model we can see where we have a continuous elevation field and where there are some holes or areas missing points. And we have here also similar kind of uh, export options. We could export so that we uh, we export the actual surface model including each vertices or uh, elevation points from the surface or we can do this lattice file generation so that we get uh, grid uh, format of elevation values and we have ho also here this raster image export option. And for comparison, I'm now going to export also that uh, raster image type of file. So here we can uh, export different kind of uh, images, or here we here uh, the colorization of those uh, rasters is different so that uh, it's not not that much for computer to understand different elevations but using this this raster image export option we can create uh, files that make sense for human interpreter who looks looks the image on computer screen And now if we look at these uh, different outputs, this is the first one which we created with Terascan and these are nearly, uh, nearly the same with the one I created from uh, Modeler. And then there is the last one which I created with Modeler as the raster, raster uh, export option. And this is more image looking so that for human it's easier to understand. And this is for uh, analysis purposes. So this doesn't make sense at all when visualized uh, in image uh, weaving program. But now when we open these files in some other tools like QGIS and adjust the color scale a bit we can see that this uh, file includes the elevations in the area and we could also import these uh, files to the Terra products to Terrascan and visualize now, now the uh, now this elevation model is uh, imported as points, so that 
uh, each of those uh, raster cell centers creates one point. So we have a grid of points. And when we change now, so if I zoom a bit, we see that we have uh, this kind of field with, with point at center of each cell. So grid of points, but when I visualize it with shading, it makes a bit more sense again and we can see the elevations of or elevation changes throughout the uh, area.